Hi. I uh, haven't had a chance to get to that green zone stuff yet. Hey, did you leave your computer on all night? Yeah, it just takes a really long time to reboot in the morning. Huh. Hey, you know what else takes a long time? Building a new Earth. <laughs> Listen, Jared. Greenzo. I'm working with you as a favor. <laughs> wow. You know what? You people make me sick. You act like you care, but you do nothing. Do you even bother to compost your own feces? I'm sorry, who? Hey, Liz Lemon, you're already treating me with more respect. Oh, God, Tracy. You wait till I test this noise out on society. Minds will be blown. No, no society. Do not go outside. Do not let Jack Donaghy see you. Tracy, listen to me. Oh, boy. This pills, I'm strong. You can't fix this, Liz Lemon. It's about race. It's about being a woman. It's about money. It's about being on TV. And no one understands all that. Huh? I'm gonna call you back. I was sitting next to Borpo. Hello, Jerry. Well, well, well. So you called that boyfriend. Yes, I did. And it went well? No, it didn't, Jerry. A woman answered. Another woman already? What did you say to her? I did a fake survey. You did the fake survey? I know. I'm not over it. And now I'm wearing this. What is the deal with my life? Are you imitating me? No. This is what I sound like when I cry. I think I'm a little insulted. You're insulted. I'm crying. Oh, come on. Son of a glab. Liz! James! Wow, you look great. Is Jenna here? No, Jenna and I broke up, actually. We both decided it was time to be happy. Me too. I'm saying yes to life. OK. Let's do this. Hey, you got home late. Yeah, I, um... Randy, this is James Franco and our friend, Kimiko Tan. Hey, Randy. I'm gonna go to the bus station. I think that's for the best. This guy makes padushas. They're like an Indian donut. They're amazing. Mucheya do padusha jahir. Careful, buddy, it's hot. Are you trying to pick me up to keep me from touching fire? Kiss me. Wait a minute. When you first met me, did you think I was a child? Yes, I did, sir. Unbelievable. I knew I should have listened to my friends. Kofi said you were too good to be true. Not nah. huh? Told me to wait three days before I called you. And yet, here we are. Is anything even going to happen between us tonight? No. But, but not because of your size. It's because I have a thing about intimacy. I'm the weird one. I'm weirder than you. How am I weird? You're not. That came out wrong. You came out wrong. Hey. Can I get your Lucretia Mott on this? Uh, what is this? Budget approval for travel and hotels for the moms. The moms? What moms? The staff moms that are going to be on the Mother's Day show that NBC is making us do after their ill-fated decision to re-air the pilot of Bitch Hunter. Put the mimosas down, bitch! Hey, you catch me on today, Jack? Mary was totally digging me. Dude, have you hit that? Uh, Jared, I'm a little concerned that we're losing our message here. It's non-judgmental business friendly. No, 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 no. We're, we're way past that, Jack. While you're out there destroying the Earth, I'll be saving it. And history will remember me. When I die, they'll want to put my face on money. If there were money in the future instead of just hugs. Excuse me, Dr. Aldrin. I'm sorry, there wasn't a door, so I just... I don't believe in barriers, because I always break them. You must be Liz. Yes, sir. I actually came about my mother, Margaret Lemon. Well, you would have known her as Margaret Freeman. Maggie Freeman? Of course I remember her. Well, I'm sorry to bother you, but I can't help but wonder what my mom lost by giving up on you, her perfect man. 
perfect. Sure, I'm a famous astronaut, decorated fighter pilot, doctorate from MIT. But even I sometimes, I see you, I see what you're doing. Return to the night. You've no business here. Are you yelling at the moon? I'm sorry. She and I just, I get mad sometimes. Sure. Look, you want to know what your mother missed? Years of drinking, depression, cheating. I flipped over a sob in the San Fernando Valley. I once woke up in the Air and Space Museum with a revolver in the waistband of my jean shorts. Oh, my God. But you're... A human being. But I'm at peace now. Sober almost 32 years. But I would have put Maggie Freeman through hell. <sighs> the moms were right. There's no such thing as astronaut Mike Dexter. What am I doing? I'm sorry if I've disappointed you. Would you like to yell at the moon with Buzz Aldrin? Yes, please. I own you! You dumb moon! I walked on your face! Don't you know it's day, idiot? I'm about to do something pretty crazy. You should. It's leap day. Real life is for March. No, just hear me out. Because if this doesn't work... It doesn't matter. Nothing that happens on leap day counts. Nothing that happens on leap day counts. Well then, here goes nothing. <laughs> Lemon, Rosemary here was just telling me some of her fantastic sketch ideas. Liz, he totally gets it. He understands that what we do is far more important than what they do. I do. I, I really do get it. Rosemary, thank you so very oh, much. Oh, no, my what pleasure. What a pleasure. What fun <laughs> catching up with you. You do. You take care yeah, now. You do. <laughs> Fire her. And don't ever make me talk to a woman that old again. Wow. Ah, oh, here comes Claire. I'm already tired. <sighs> I'm designing hats now. Hats! Oh, well, Claire, this is my boss, Jack Donaghy. Hi there. Welcome to New York. Let's see. Uh, we're using credit cards and cabs now. All the galleries have moved to Chelsea, and we're off cupcakes and we're back to donuts. Would you excuse me for a moment, please? Mm. So, girls, what are we doing tonight? You know, the baggage handler told me about the storage unit party that's on the Lower East Side. Starts about midnight, sponsored by Mirt Vodka and I think some drug dealer of some kind. But the only rule is that we all have to DJ. I mean, it's going to be so much fun! <laughs> well, folks, from the flight deck, it looks like it's going to be about another half hour, and then we'll be on our way. Uh... I have an announcement. Our pilot has gone insane. No, don't listen to her. Don't. Having seen Crimson Tide on Showtime last weekend, I believe the only course of action available to us is passenger mutiny. I am Denzel. I am invoking Skylaw. You are now silenced, Shrieking Harpy. Stop shrieking. We could have gone back to a gate, and he wouldn't take us. Do not blame me. I wouldn't take us because she wouldn't admit to being wrong for challenging my authority. Why not? What's wrong with you? I am right, and he knows it. He could have given us food. Maybe this is one of those times where both of you just say on the count of three, I was wrong. One, one two, two, three, three never. never. How are you two dating? You're too similar. Where are you going? I am pulling the emergency exit slide, and we are all getting off of this plane. I'll be a folk hero like that guy everybody hates now. Don't you even think about it. That is a federal offense. Just try to stop me. Oh, you be careful what you wish for. I will waste you! You'll have to go through this old bastard first! <laughs> Soren Eglantine, your journey is at an end. Oh, we can still be friends. <laughs>